lost a lot, including my golf clubs. I had like three grand into that. We spent all day looking for her father's urn and we found it like two hours ago. I found a cat in my house and we don't have cats. A live cat. I'd like to shout out TaylorMade and Titleist and Callaway. I really need new sets or a new set. I lost it and I just love golf. And what a week it's been for Bradley, Gabby. What, what has it been like? I haven't gotten a lot of sleep because all the stuff that's been going on, but the town is cleaning up and once they start rebuilding and stuff like that, I think it'll be back to normal. Now, golf clubs are what got all the attention here, but it has been, of course, about things much more serious than golf clubs. What, where were you and how did you find out that this tornado was bearing down on you and then what did you do? I actually was not at my house. I was playing pool with a friend in a basement and... Safe place to be. It was a safe place to be on the other side of town. And when we went out the door after it was all gone or after the storm passed, there was one or two sticks in the yard. We didn't think much of it, but we went to the other side of town and everything was gone. And it was just devastating. That walk when you are in a place that hasn't been hit and then suddenly it can turn to where the, the town is just leveled. Do you remember what went through your head when you, when you first saw your street and your house? Well, I, I was on the other side of the block and I was trying to see my house, but I just didn't see it. And I seen a bunch of open area. I was like, my house was right there and it was gone along with a lot of other people's houses. It didn't even look familiar. So people immediately started trying to help along with the first responders who did such a good job but there were so many different things being searched for at once one of the things you said is that you you helped someone find her dad's urn and that was a successful mission what what happened there we were looking for it for probably four hours and then a buddy of mine's dad he came and helped look and he was there for maybe five minutes and found it wow so I'm, I'm glad we found it, but yeah, yeah. There's so many stories like that. You see people searching to find photo albums, keepsakes, mementos. I know one woman that Andy talked to, she's trying to find her dad's Marine uniform and we're happy to report that she did with help find her dad's Marine uniform. So all of that's going on. One of the things that was uh, interesting is when you said, yeah, I found a cat in our house, but we don't have a cat. Yeah, that was actually the neighbors down the street. He was like three houses away and his cat was found in our house, so. Wow, um, so it's, it's the golf clubs, the video of you talking to Andy about the golf clubs in a lighthearted way really resonated with so many people because you were looking for a smile at a unimaginably difficult time. You lightened the mood by talking about your love of golf. And uh, your dad has provided some context for us here. You worked hard to get those golf clubs that you had. Yeah, I don't know when you talked to him, but I, <laughs> I did work pretty hard for those clubs. So, so that was, it was kind of on your mind. It wasn't the most important thing, but you said you would like some more clubs. Yeah, uh, a lot of companies and small businesses have got a hold of me and they're setting me up and hooking me up. I, I know uh, you mentioned uh, uh, Callaway Golf and you mentioned Taylor Made and you've heard from both of them and they're sending, they've said they're sending clubs. That's right. All right, that's very nice. Uh, how is the, how's the town doing overall? How are the spirits in the town? We know there's been a lot of devastation. There's been injuries. There's even been loss of life. How are people doing? I haven't been around the whole town, but I think a lot of people are just recovering and stuff like that. But the town with all the heavy equipment operators and stuff like that, it's getting, all the rubble is getting cleaned up fast. And people, we saw a photo of a line of cars. Looked like the end of the movie Field of Dreams for those of us who have seen that movie. Just cars lined up for miles to come to Greenfield to help. What's that been like to see? The first one or two days there was a lot, a lot of people and everybody was helping and it was great. But it's kind of died down to just the 
equipment operators, and that's been good as well because they're getting a lot of stuff done. Well, we, uh, we love the town of Greenfield. We've been in RVTV there a couple of times, and we really appreciate the smile you provided for so many people, and I'm glad you're getting your golf clubs. I know one of the things you've told me, it's, you know, that's not the most important thing here, no. but it's nice. It's just mm -hmm. a nice story that made people feel good. So Bradley, congratulations on that part of it, and I hope you and all of your friends and family in Greenfield recover quickly, and we won't forget about you. I know sometimes a tornado hits a town and people feel like it's in the news cycle for a few days and then everybody forgets, but we, we won't forget. Yeah, I just have one more thing to say that you're a lot better at it than me, but there's a GoFundMe that's for the city of Greenfield and helping the hospital and stuff like that. And it kind of helps me a lot because I have two sisters that work at the hospital when the tornado hit. My stepmom works at a hospital in Des Moines and my mom is a pharmacist. So that kind of tangles up with me a lot. So if you guys would donate to that, it'd be really helpful. I will provide a link to that, and we appreciate you coming in. Yeah. All right, that is Bradley Gebby.